day four of Christmas in July week. Today's Christmas in July project over on my blog is this great oversized tag. You could certainly use this as a tag on a package or um, because of the size you could just give this as a holiday card. As you can see the um, the center of this tag here has been cut out. I made a little window and what's in the center here is an awesome a uh, transparency sheet, a window sheet, that has this great red pattern on it and the pattern is actually done in flocking so there's a really great texture. It's a little bit um, fuzzy sort of um, texture that is on that clear window sheet. This window sheet uh, is part of the Candlelight Christmas Designer Series Paper Collection and you do receive two 12 by 12 flocked window sheets in the collection and it is super fun um, really adds some nice texture to your projects now if you're watching this on YouTube and you're wondering what happened to day three of Christmas in July week well day three was um, on my blog and I did not create a video for day three but this is the card that I shared for um, my day three project so if um, you like this card and you want a little bit more information or you want to see what supplies I used you can go over to my blog and all the information including a complete supply list um, is over there on my blog but for today we're gonna look at this tag and I'm gonna show you a couple tips um, for how I put this together so this project starts off with two tag shapes cut out of gumball green cardstock and these both started as three and a half by five inch rectangles and I just used a ruler and a pencil to measure um, and draw lines to just cut the corners off at an angle on one side and then I just you know held this up to the next piece and used that as a guide to go ahead and cut the corners off the other piece and to cut out the window in the center of the tag we're using these new framelits from the holiday catalog these are called the window frames framelits and I am using the third one from the middle. To cut the window out of the tags and make sure that the window is perfectly aligned on both tags, we are gonna actually cut both windows at the same time. But in order to do that and to avoid shifting, we're gonna actually adhere these tags together. Now I'm gonna put the adhesive just in the very center of the tag and that is gonna be cut away with the window so we really don't need to worry about that. I'm just using regular adhesive and I'm just going to put a little bit right in the center of the tag and then I can go ahead and just make sure they're nicely lined up and now those are stuck together and then I'll just align my die where I want it and I'm going to be, like you can see in the, in the finished one here, I'm embellishing the um, top portion of the tag a little bit. So I'm um, positioning my die a little bit too um, below centered on the tag. So I'm sort of centering it within this um, square portion of the tag here. And then you can just go ahead and run that through your Big Shot. So now that I ran this through my die cutting machine, you can see we have a window cut out of both tags and when we align the edges of the tags the windows are perfectly aligned as well. I went ahead and cut a little piece out of my flocked window sheet and this doesn't have to be precise um, I just cut it out by hand so you can see the, the edges aren't very straight um, but you just want to make sure that it's uh, larger, slightly larger than your window. So I'm going to take the tag that's going to be um, the back of my window And I like to use liquid glue for this because I know that it's going to hold the window sheet down. So I'm just going to go around the outside of this window with a little bit of glue. Now the thing that can be difficult about these window sheets is how are you going to hide the adhesive. And that is why um, this project is great because I am sandwiching the window sheet in between um, two pieces of cardstock. So 
you really can't see the adhesive at all once it's done. Now this is actually a little bit bigger than I want it to be. Um, it's going to hang over the edge if I don't trim it down, so let's see. Okay, I'll just put this, um, I'm putting this flocked side up because remember this is the back half of our tag. This is the tag that's going to be on the back and I'll just gently press that down into the glue. Okay, and now I'm going to take the tag that's going to be the front side and I'm flipping it over and I'll put a thin line of glue all around this window. And then I'm going to put some glue around the rest of the tag to make sure that it's all held together really well and not just the window sheet in the middle. And now I can go ahead and line up edges of my tags and remember that because we cut the tags the windows together we know that when the edges of the tags are aligned the windows are going to be perfectly aligned as well so this is the sensational season um, stamp set and the coordinating um, framelits are called the Holiday Collection Framelits. So for my tag today, I'm using the little polka dot Christmas tree and the star image from the Sensational Season stamp set. I'm using Gumball Green ink and Daffodil Delight ink. And I just have a little strip of Whisper White that I'm going to be doing my stamping on. So we'll start out with the Christmas tree. And my gumball green is one of the brand new ink pads, so just remember you don't have to tap very hard, just ink it up very lightly. And then I'll go ahead and stamp this onto my Whisper White. Okay, and then I'll get out my Daffodil Delight ink. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that star, leaving a little bit of room in between um, for the dies. And I want to show you a really quick tip for um, making sure that you get a perfect cut every time when you're, u when you're using the framelits and the coordinating stamp sets. Remember you place um, your framelit cut side down and just line that up and like I said the cut edge is right on the very inside of this die so you know exactly where you're going to get where it's going to cut and you can get it lined up perfectly every single time. So you just get it lined up where you want it and then just take a post-it note and tear a little piece off and where the sticky edge is just overlap that with your die and your cardstock on the outside and that's going to hold your die perfectly in place while you run it through your Big Shot. I also want to run th through um, both dies a second time with no stamping and the reason for that is we want to have something to put on the back to hide the adhesive that we use to stick the stamped images to the front of the window sheet. And I'm going to attach the tree and the star using dimensionals. Just go ahead and line that up in the center of the window. Okay, and I'll just adhere that at the top of my tree, just like that. And now all I need to do is flip this over and see how you can see the dimensionals and that doesn't, look, doesn't really look very good. So I'm going to take my other pieces. I'm using liquid glue again. Just to make sure everything's nice and secure. And I'll go ahead and line that up. And since this is clear, I can make sure that I'm lining it up perfectly with the tree on the front. And if I need to flip it over, and play with it that way. That's why I'm using the liquid glue. It gives you a little bit more time to maneuver your pieces. You can make sure that you can't see any 
from the front side. Here you can see the back of my tag and how nice and clean it looks. And then here's my finished tag again. You can see I just tied some cherry cobbler baker's twine around the top portion of the tag. And I looped some whisper white taffeta ribbon through a hole that I punched in the top. The little Mary sentiment here is from the tiny tag stamp set. Here's the sentiment here. And I stamped that in black and I stamped the little polka dot outline in real red and I punched it out with the jewelry tag punch and I tied it on um, with one of the designer faceted buttons um, on that twine there as well. And then on the back you have plenty of room to write um, a little note to the recipient or you could just write or stamp your to and from up here or down below. Um, whatever you like. Thank you very much for joining me today for day four of Christmas in July, and I hope you'll join me again tomorrow for day five. Happy stampin'. Bye-bye.